Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Matwaychuk, and the purpose of today's intermittent reinforcement email message is to talk to you about how REBT, Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, can help you tolerate acts of disrespect. Now, my experience has been that people have a great deal of problems when other people show them disrespect. They anger themselves, they're easily insulted, they argue, they retaliate with sarcasm. And the end result of such a response is to either escalate interpersonal conflict or to sever relationships which could very well be salvaged. In rational and emotive behavior therapy, we teach people not to like disrespect, but to tolerate it in a healthy way. The fact of the matter is, is that when someone acts in a disrespectful way towards you, you can have a healthy emotional response of annoyance or disappointment, but you never, ever, ever have to anger yourself. When you anger yourself about acts of disrespect, you are likely not to use good judgment in your response to the other party. In today's email, I talk about some of the rigid and extreme attitudes that lead to the unhealthy anger that people feel when they think another party has disrespected them. These rigid and extreme attitudes lead to poor judgment and can be challenged and replaced by the individual who wishes to be more effective in such interpersonal conflicts. Healthy attitudes that are flexible and not extreme will enable you to feel a healthy sense of annoyance or healthy disappointment in the face of disrespect, and then to keep your poise and respond in a way that will be assertive and help you get more of what you want and less of what you don't want. Now, when we respond assertively to acts of disrespect, we're not guaranteed that the other party will, in fact, respond in a favorable way. In fact, there's a good probability they won't because usually people who are likely to respond to assertiveness are not likely to act in a, in a disrespectful way, although some people may act in a disrespectful way. And when you assert yourself, acknowledge that they have done something that was hurtful. The point is that REBT tries to inoculate you from the unhealthy anger that is not in your long-term best interest. Attitudes like I have to defend my honor or I'm lesser of a person, I must not let this person treat me disrespectfully, will only lead to bad results. What would be far better if is if you adopted a healthy attitude like sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me, which was an idea that I grew up with when I was a kid. Or the attitude, I really want people to treat me with respect, but they don't have to. I can't control other people. I might be able to influence them, but I cer certainly can't make them respect me. However, I can always choose to unconditionally accept myself and never anger myself when other people disrespect me. I end today's intermittent reinforcement email message with a personal story of an act of great disrespect that occurred to me two weeks before I defended my dissertation. I suggest that you read today's intermittent reinforcement email message and all the way to the end where you can read the story of what happened to me 
when I was at happy hour two weeks before my dissertation. I am teasing you a bit because I want you to read the email. I really believe that it's important for people to learn to give up their need for respect because nothing undermines effective interpersonal problem solving and good judgment like a bruised ego and unhealthy anger. I would also like to remind you to attend my weekly Zoom demonstration hours on Saturday. They are held at 9 a.m. in New York City, where I now live, and that's 2 p.m. in the UK, 4 p.m. in Bucharest. Uh, I think that is 7.30 in New Delhi, India, and 11 p.m. in Tokyo, Japan. During each of these Zoom demonstrations, I select a volunteer from somewhere in the world and I show them how not to anger themselves when other people disrespect them. Or I take another problem that they might find helpful to discuss and show them how to use the powerful ideas of REBT so that they can have a healthy response to the challenges of life. This is a great way to learn how to think in a different way, in a more effective way, and use the powerful ideas originated by the good Dr. Albert Ellis. My mission is to disseminate these ideas and show people how they can use good judgment through managing their emotions. So I hope that you attend on Saturdays and take advantage of this learning resource. It's a great way to learn how to deal with the fallible humans in your life who may very well occasionally disrespect, disrespect you. Write to me at rebtdoctor, D-O-C-T-O-R, at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to send you the link. Once again, that's rebtdoctor, doc tor at gmail.com. That's n it's 9 a.m. every Saturday in New York. We've done it now for 175 weeks. This week, I think, will be the 175th week. And we're going strong. I hope to see you on Saturday and bring a friend. <laughs>